You guys have going still outside. <clears throat> I want to say welcome to the first episode of the series. Um, today we are starting a new sort of book audio um, series on the channel. I did one before uh, about the way of the superior man. That was ages ago, man. That was like six, seven months ago. And I made a few episodes on that because it was a very uh, inter interesting book and it was very informative about male masculinity, female, feminine, um, you know, energy and masculine energy. And uh, it taught us a lot about the different nature of a man, the different natures of a woman. So it's pretty interesting, but today we are doing something um, that I really want to express with anyone who comes by my channel. And that is the 44 ways to manhood according to the Quran and the Sunnah. So let me just explain these terms. So the Quran is the Islamic book of Muslims, um, just like how Christians have their Bible and, and the Jews have their Torah and whatnot. Basically, the Quran is the word of God in Islam. And the Sunnah, which is an Arabic word, means the ways of the Prophet. Um, and the Prophet in Islam is Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And he was the final messenger of Islam. He's the one who, you know, came with the message. And God sent down the Quran to him. And he spread this message with humanity. And Islam is where it is today because of his efforts and because of his mission. And that's why we, we, we always say peace be upon him, always after that. Uh, to show respect, to show peace. Uh, praise and admiration and appreciation um, we say peace be upon him to all the prophets Moses Jesus you know Isa um, Noah and Ab Abraham peace be upon them all to show a respect and to show a appreciation that God has taught us to have towards the prophets for their efforts and for who they were as people uh, but the prophets is a different, a whole different video, a whole different time to talk about. Peace be upon them all, it's a whole different video. But that's what the sunnah is. The sunnah is whatever the prophet Muhammad did, peace be upon him, the, what he, how he lived his life, the values he had, the things he taught. That is the sunnah. It's sort of like the way of the samurai. Um, but this is the way of the prophet, peace be upon him. So this is 44 key principles for any man. Muslim, non-Muslim, preferably Muslim, this is an Islamic book, but this can also benefit non-Muslims alike. I picked this book up yesterday uh, from a website called Jerusalem in New South Wales, Australia, and it was just an awesome thing to get, man. You know, I, I, I hope to God I benefit from this book and gain an understanding. And there was an awesome quote I heard called, you know, don't read a thousand books read one book and understand it a thousand ways so this is something i have to keep in mind because i'm such a book lover i get a book after book and you really got to take the time to understand the book itself you know because your mind just gets bombarded with all the books all everything you know too much content and too much reading can clog your mind which i experience a lot of so i hope to stop all reading apart from this book i i do have another book uh, which is really great, but I'm going to stop reading that one. I'm going to read this one because this one's a bit shorter um, and compared to my other one. So this is going to be what I'm going to be basically be reading and making my videos off. So there's the introduction, guys. Let's get into it. The first principle that I came across, I read. So I'm reading a principle a day and just understanding it, that principle itself. And the first principle, surprisingly, I wasn't really expecting this, but it's sincerity. And basically in the book it talks about why sincerity is important, uh, why, why should you even have it, what happens if you lack it. So basically, man, this is really powerful because before you start anything, it all comes down to your intention. You know, why are you doing it? You know, there's got to be a reason behind it. And that intention is so great that... Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he taught us that the intention is greater. It shows the the um, the meaning for an action. 
So all the actions will be judged off the intentions. And if the intention isn't right, if the intention isn't pure and in the right place, then the action is invalid. So that's something that is also in the book. That the, that's why it came first. Because before you start this book, before you start this journey, you got to make sure your heart's in the right place. And you have to make sure f what, what your why is, for the, what reasons are you doing this, you know, gaining knowledge, doing what you're doing. I thought that was really cool. And, um, you know, to be sincere and to be knowing of your intention is key, man. Like, even outside of, outside of religious aspects, like, your intention for being kind to people, is it just to get something from them or are you purely kind the reason you say compliments you know the reason you give charity the reason you um you know the, why you have your friends around for what reason so intention is a really great thing man um and you know a, a whole video can be made just on intentions but there's the first principle and i thought it was really really special because a lot of times i've struggled with this in the past and to always be coming back to, okay, why am I doing this? What's my intention? To always come back to that is really important, man. You know, you don't want to do things like blindly or for the wrong reasons. And to really understand what your intention is, you know, it gives you more motivation doing the action. You know, so what are the right reasons for giving charity? What are the right reasons for praying? The right reasons for being kind? giving someone a compliment, being honest, you know, the right reason for, you know, saying sorry to someone. So I thought that was really cool that the first principle um, is, is sincerity. It also shows how humble you are as a person, how serious you are, how, you know, concerned you are. That's what sincerity is. It's a really special thing. So there you go, guys, the first principle, according to the Quran and Sunnah, on being stepping into manhood is your sincerity and I think that's really really cool because I think that's something that we are struggling with as men um, to be sincere and hopefully with this one chapter we can work on this in our lives the best we can because you know we can try to learn everything we can always remind ourselves how sincere am I you know why am I doing this am I doing it for the right reasons yeah, just to be aware of sincerity and to be aware of our intentions is key. So there you go, guys, the first chapter, the first principle. And uh, I'll be reading the second one today and be sharing it on the second episode. So I hope you guys take something away and take care. Bye.